Hi, folks. How you doing? Uh, this is uh, my, January 3rd, 2018, the third day of our year of 2018. And my name is Paul David Fraser Boyd. And today is what we did today. Today, I woke up at uh, early for me today. I woke up actually at 12 o'clock. And uh, what I did is uh, I had my breakfast for change. I made eggs Benedict uh, with some horse rash, horse race sauce or or kind of, I don't know how you pronounce it, but whatever. I made, uh, I made Eggs Benedict. It was a prepackaged uh, Eggs Benedict uh, package. And uh, what I did is I had that for breakfast. I also had, uh, I had bought a uh, ham, a big chunk of ham. Uh, and so what I did is I uh, bought the, uh, used the ham uh, and cut up the pieces and I fried up the ham and uh, wrapped it up in some pita bread. And I had that for breakfast today. Uh, and then what I did is I, uh, I, I got everything planned early. So what I did is I actually hit the road early today and I went to work. And uh, what I did today is I, uh, I worked around the Sackville area and had an excellent day. Business was great. Uh, it wasn't super. It wasn't what I would expect uh, being uh, Wednesday. But people were getting, it wasn't like uh, crazy because people weren't getting ready for the storm because there's actually a big storm on the, uh, the horizon. It's supposed to be, it's hitting New York City uh, early this morning in Boston, in that area, and it's called a weather bomb. It's huge. You can check it out on the uh, the Weather Network, um, on the U.S. Weather Network or the Canadian uh, Weather Network, and it's a major storm heading. So I figured that people were uh, would be ready in a panic a bit. People get because uh, the storm coming, people just seem to be relaxed. Businesses weren't really super busy, like you would expect on a storm day. And uh, so basically, I myself, I stocked up. I bought some uh, extra. Uh, uh, chips and uh, and snacks that are uh, make sure they're low fat snacks. And what I also did is I uh, bought some extra canned goods, some extra soup, and a few other items I brought uh, with me to pack. And also I bought some extra water and uh, a few more batteries for my um, for my flashlight and um, and my other lights I have. I brought it and I also. Uh, Made sure that my uh, laptop is going to be charged up and my phone. I also, on my way to work today, I stopped in at the phone store because uh, yesterday, um, I don't know if I told you or not, I bought a, a BlackBerry. I got an old BlackBerry uh, Curve, um, and uh, it, I got it for like three bucks at the uh, at the thrift store, the Bible thrift store. And what I did with that, I took it to my friend who has 123 Cellular. I'm not going to plug his name or anything like that because he's not paying me. And he's going to unlock it for me. So basically, I left the phone with him to be unlocked. And then I went to work, and in between work a couple of times, I cleared by the superstore or by Sobeys um, or the other supermarkets and dollar stores, something that I picked up supplies for, uh, for emergency. But now look, the storm's stalled a bit, so um, basically it was supposed to hit us uh, early in the morning here in Halifax, but it's going to be hitting uh, New York and Boston first. Uh, and so tonight's actually a calm night. I, if I had known it was going to be calm, I would have worked a few more extra hours, but I only worked to midnight, and then I finished my shift and I came home and uh, I prepared the this video here so basically um, that's what my day was it was a, a fairly productive day in the end actually I got two good calls that uh, made the day for me if it wasn't for those two good calls I would have had just a mediocre or even uh, a fair day but um, thanks to those two decent calls I got at the end uh, they really helped me out so I'd like a shout out to Kevin hey, yo Kevin thanks for uh, for coming by and thanks for um, Picking us to be your uh, satellite to, to taxi to be your uh, taxi service. So, folks, that's all I have today. It's a quick little video. I'm getting uh, I'm really tired here. Long day. I also watched the Doctor Who Christmas special uh, that I've been meaning to catch up on. I finally watched uh, the uh, the Doctor Who special, um, 2017 special. I didn't get to see the other one that has the double Doctor, so I guess there's more than one special. I think that was the year before last, 2016 special I watched. Uh, but we'll see. Um, and then I watched a few videos and I prepared this video for you. So thanks a lot, folks, for tuning in. Stay safe out there. Remember, uh, there could be power outs. So if you're in Nova Scotia, or you're in New Brunswick, any area that uh, they told us that probably tomorrow it's going to turn mostly to rain, but the winds are going to be the main factor. The winds are up to 80 to 100 kilometers an hour. Um, so probably a good day to stay home. I don't think I'm going to be out in that weather because I'm not taking the risk of uh, falling trees and uh, flooding and all that. Uh, dangerous stuff. I'd rather just take the day off. I'll probably stay home here. Hopefully we'll have power. Um, on the Christmas Day storm we had here, we had power. So hopefully we'll have power, but I know a lot of areas will lose power. So, <coughs> excuse me. If you lose power, to stay home and uh, read the Bible. So, uh, <coughs> let me come up with a prayer here. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for all the blessings you've given us. Thank you for the amazing uh, miracle of electricity. 
and all the amazing miracles of uh, safety workers out there and <clears throat> weather forecasters. And <coughs> excuse me, weather forecasters. And um, thank you for us having a planet that has variety to it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for us um, each and every day. And please watch over the lives. I know they already lost four lives down the down there because of <coughs> severe weather in the, in America. So, Lord Jesus, I pray for each and every one out there, and I pray that the storm uh, isn't as severe as the uh, weather network tells us it is. Pray, I pray, Lord, that you will blow it uh, away, make it calm down, calm the winds, as, as you, Lord Jesus, when you were in the boat with the uh, disciples, and you uh, made the ocean stop and the swells and all that happened, you can do that again this time. Maybe you can protect the people of area and, and make the storm less severe. So, Lord Jesus, uh, thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for dying on the cross. And thank you for calming the season you did for uh, for the disciples. In Lord Jesus' name, we pray that for peace, love, and safety for all our people in the area. Amen. Thanks a lot. Check.